Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's bowlers. To my left, the reigning king, after last week defeating Rusty Geller with a score of 246 to 233, Ivan Geshwinder. Welcome back. Thank you. And to my right, no stranger to the king of the palace, especially to me, uh, with a roll-off score of 385, Anthony Karen. Welcome back, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the match against the current king? Well, I just saw him bowl a great match against Rusty, so I feel he's going to give me quite a challenge. You're going to dethrone him like he dethroned me? <laughs> I'm going to try, but he's a tough opponent. I always said, my hat's off to you. You were the better man that day. I have no, no ill you know, words told you. You're an awesome bowler. Love having you around. Good luck. Thank you. And uh, what are your thoughts going in against Anthony, former king? I bowled with him in uh, qualifying the first round when I, uh, when I kept the championship or got it, and he's a great bowler. I have a lot of respect for him. He's got that sneaky curveball. When it's in that pocket, it's deadly. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, I'm speaking from experience. Trust me, I know. <laughs> well, good luck to both you guys, and I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Up first on alley three, Anthony Karen. Okay, Anthony Karen, first ball delivery. Anthony Karen oh. is a former King of the Palace champion. Yep. Yes, he is. Veteran, veteran, Candlepin bowler, very unique style. Crouches down, throws. I would consider Dennis a what, what an inch shoot ball. A what? Kind of inch shoot. People refer to it as an inch shoot. Anthony, Anthony comes from. Starts left and goes right. And there he is, perfectly thrown. Spare ball, the four horsemen left. Anthony comes from Nashua, New Hampshire. Or, uh, Nashua, New Hampshire. He bowls uh, at Mason's and at Lita Lanes. His highest average is a 104. He's been bowling for 37 years. His high single is a 195. His high trip is a 442. Excellent vehicle. The yeah. old 442. You ever bowl Lita? Um, I had. I had. Oh, I love that house. I especially love the bar attached to it. They have the best grape crush we've ever had. Nice. The best what? Grape crush to drink. Oh, and they really also good. have these chairs, at least they used to back in there. I haven't been there in a while. They look like something out of Star Trek. The chairs. Oh, really? Uh, oh, they were so comfortable. One, three, seven, ten for a spare nail. Oh, I thought wow. he had it. Anthony's got that deadly curve, man. When it's in that <laughs> pocket, it just destroys well, the Well, that's crack. what people refer <laughs> to that as an inch. Well, I never, I've, I've never, never heard, heard of that. Yeah. Never heard that A couple term. people told me that. Very unique way of bowling. Oh, you know, no, that's no good. No good. <laughs> Up now, the returning champ after beating Rusty Geller last week, Ivan Geschwinder, nicknamed Zeke. Uh, Dennis, I'm going to have to ask him why Zeke. I'll have to ask him that question. Dennis, that last ball by Anthony Cannon, what happened? Yeah, it was in the, in the gutter. Oh, okay. He called it off, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just missed it. Okay, first ball delivery. Oh, 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 we didn't want that. Half Worcester left. You don't want to start off with a half Worcester. Zeke comes from Rochester, New Hampshire. His highest average is a 106. He bowls at Bolarama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. He's been bowling for 14 years. Ooh, right through the hoop with no grease again. He did that last week. <laughs> can, um, can you explain it this week? No grease in the hoop? Hang on. Years bowling, 14, high single, 170, high trip, 422. Oh, Ooh, three wow. hoops in a row. Very, very Ouch. unusual. Wow. Dennis That's Davis. where you have Dennis. to set it and forget it. Yeah. Three times he's, he threw the ball 60 feet. At the same alley, the same place. That's he accurate. Almost did it again. He that's, hit the that's, pin again. That's accurate. Look at this mess. Full husband right along with the, is it the 8-9, Dennis, or the 7-8? Seven, 7-8. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Uh, eight, nine, nine. Leaves oh, the, almost picked Leaves it the off. finger of God. I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lunenburg, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and talk to Marty Babino and his excellent sales staff on a pre- or new Mazda or Subaru. Also want to give a quick shout out to our, one of our new sponsors. Watch Me Suck Bowling. Excellent friend of mine for many, many years. You can find him on YouTube. And he does parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and um, <coughs> ten pin bowling. Excuse oh. me. Oh, well, we don't even mention that on the show. I, I, I had like a little tickle. Yeah. Just to give a shout out to one of our viewers from Fort Worth. Fort Worth, Texas. Tanner Bankston. Thank you for tuning in, Tanner. Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, we have some yarn there. Head pin. Oh, look at this. Go to your local Access TV station and say, hey, I want King of the Palace in my neck of the woods, and we'll do everything in our power to get it to you so you can watch it on your computer or on your big screen TV at home. Also, Subscribe to us on YouTube. 
How many subscribers do we have so far? Look it up. What right do we now? have? 467? Something to that effect. Yeah, well, I think that's 467. Yes. Uh, like to see in. 500 by the end of uh, season season five. That would be spectacular. Oh, we're growing all the time, David. Absolutely. Dennis. Absolutely. Please leave a comment on who you're watching it with and where you're watching it. Um, we'd love to see it grow. We have questions. Ask how to put yep. it down. Ask Dennis. anything that you want. We've had viewers from all over the world. Thank you very much. Canada, New Zealand, Nova Scotia, Switzerland, Sweden, everywhere. Yep. Difficult shot here. California, Iowa. Yeah, yeah. Iowa, Minnesota, Texas. Texas, Ohio. Canada. Come on, Anthony. Oh, I want to see a viewer from Mississippi. M I S S I S S P P I. What? M I S S I P P I. Right? No. No, it's M I squiggle letter squiggle letter I squiggle letter squiggle letter I, I humpback I humpback okay. I. Okay. You're Thank oh, you for look the this. Thank you for the correction. Not yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Anthony smiling completely misses a shot, and what happens? The bowling gods answer his prayers. We got a question for us from Cody Lance, Windsor, Nova Scotia. Okay. Question for me, Dave, and Steve. How do you punch the one eight nine? Oh, that's a beautiful, ugly shot. I wish I knew because I've done that quite a few times oh, myself. I've done it. Dennis, you've done it. I uh, yeah. It's ugly. It's just well, like punching the spread eagle, pretty much. Um, the ball obviously hits the... Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, oh just slide, try to slide it over and pick up the 10. The ball hits the head pin. Um, the pin goes one direction towards either the 8 or the 9. The ball goes the other direction. Same same thing. There's a lot not, of space between the pins. They, yes. may, not, they may not look... 12 uh, inches. 12 inches between the They may not look like there's a lot of space, but definitely the, no, the one pin me. can be, if you hit the one pin just right, yep. it will swing by and take out the, the seven pin, or the eight pin, yep, one, and, and then the nine. The ball will take out the, out the nine. takes out the nine, and nothing touches the five. It's amazing to see. It's frustrating. It, that too. That's Especially when it's on a fill. Yeah. Wow. Correction, people. I just saw a squirrel sighting. <laughs> Uh, he was quiet. Johnny, Johnny, he, he must have been picking, nut, picking nuts for uh, the winner. Oh, he's punching us. A correction here, people, while we got a break in the action from yours truly. When the pins are standing, there's nine inches between the pins. When a pin is missing, like the two pin on the one, three, six, three pins out, it's 12 inches. After four, Ivan Geshwinder at 28, Anthony Karen at 43. Anthony Bowles wins tonight. Uh, Wednesday mornings at Lita Lanes and Friday night at Mason's. His favorite shot. Whoa. His oh favorite shot is the five pin with a with a plank in front. His least favorite shot is the seven ten with no wood. That would be anybody's least favorite mm -hmm. shot, I would think. He's got the ten pin up, the corner of the building shot. All by Steve's leave, his least favorite shot is the spread eagle. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, rides the wood? Oh yes, kept it in play. He rode that dead wood into the ten. Yep. The Deadwood was a helper, obviously. Okay, big ball here for Anthony Karen. Wants eight, nine, and ten. That's the magic number, David Dennis, right? That's fair, Phil. I'm very happy with one of the three. Anthony, a little bit more time this time, zeroing in on that head pin. Anthony, oh, Anthony's not a quick bowler. He, no. he usually takes. He's got that. He, he throws the ball right-handed, right? He's got like that reverse curve going. Yeah, on. it goes. Yeah, right-handed, and it goes left left and then breaks right. Well, he's got a difficult spear shot here, people. He's got to bang the head pin. Oh, I might even split it. No. Oh, just, just, the, just, the, just the hair just, off. Now he's left ugling them. What did you get up to? One, six, seven? One, six, seven. One, six, seven. When he's not bowling, he's actually an automation click for the post office, and he loves fantasy baseball. Got to play. Oh. oh, just missed Okay. One thing I like about Anthony, he's very animated on the alleys. I like that. After six, Anthony's a 66. 66. Okay, Ivan up, lane number three. Box number five. Champ on alley three. String number one. A little, a little wide right Ooh. again. He just seems to be a little bit off, Dennis. Shout out to Michelle Madela. That's my cousin. Working from, uh, watching from Nevada. It's my cousin. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Champ is just really he's off, off right now. He's left yeah. the one in the... Chuck Fry says he's in Singapore, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> uh, when uh, when Zeke is not bowling, he's actually a master electrician. Nice 10 box there for Zeke. 
He enjoys fishing, shooting guns, and fishing. Wow, when this is all over, we'll have a new president. What's that? We'll have a new president. Yes. Oh, yes, that's correct. Soon, yeah. Yeah, very interesting, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. He leaves the MK to the left. There it is. Oh, oh wow. God. How did that, Dennis? It looked tell good. Me, how did the. I know, nothing hit it. I know. Perfect. I thought it was a perfectly thrown ball for the spare. You got to throw the strike ball to make the spare, and he did, I thought. Ooh, Ooh, off. Yeah, he's just really off right now. Yeah. After six, Ivan Geschwinder at 47, Anthony Karen at 66. Dennis, quickly analyze. What do you think on Ivan? Footwork, the ball delivery, the on swing? I, I don't think he's following through enough. Uh, he just doesn't seem like when he was ch champ, there was a lot more action there. Yeah, but yeah, it but happens. He's got to work it out. He didn't, he didn't really explode. You know, he only exploded in his very first game last week. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. The second string wasn't oh. really that well either. Uh, Explosive. So, An I mean. Anthony Karen, people, just buries the ball into there. And what does he leave? Not just the spread eagle, people. Spread eagle with what? A talon. Or a claw. Oh, oh, he almost nice pulled bit. it off. Had it. Nice bit, Anthony. I he do was. like his an his annex on the alley. Oh, yeah. I will very say animated. That. Very animated. David Dennis. He reminds me of Hosley. Hosley is very, DJ yes. Hosley is very animated as well. I like that. If he made that one, I would have stood up. And I don't stand up that often again. The shot's made. And he just missed the baby split. The just remember, seven. King of the Palace, 80% is designed for everybody. But yeah, absolutely correct. So, I mean, some people... You know, don't want to do it because they have high averages. I did it with a 120. But Johnny Blaze did it. Nick Norcross did it. We all give everybody pins. But those same people who are complaining that Ooh. about them having high averages that don't want to do it, we have the scratch match yep. for that, and they don't come out. Nope. So I don't want to hear it. Yep. Also, um, on December 3rd, we'll have the very first ever Queen of the Palace. Yep. History in the making, brother. That's going to be spectacular. Huh? Can't wait. Can't wait to see the women's showcase. And only one person. Oh. And who knows? If that takes off and then we get we get more, uh, an excellent oh, response what, and we what? continue it, I just what? might have to go out and design a Queen of the Palace belt. Why not? And possibly ladies' doubles. Maybe. You never Some know. Idea. You know how, Dennis, you know how David's mind's always thinking. We'll, we'll do anything as long as the bowl of interest is there. You have That's to have right. the bowlers show up because without the bowlers, you, you, you can't well, have I mean, the tournament because there's no payouts. Well, Dennis, you know <coughs> your, your partner here, Steve. I'm always what? Thinking, concentrating, and focusing on what? Candle pin bowling? Unless you want to go play duck pin. No, no, no. That's all right. No, okay, he's left. I've been <laughs> That's a story for another day. But there are uh, new twists and turns, like I said, coming this year. Yep. Queen of the Palace is one of them. Uh, I believe we're going to have a mixed doubles. Um, well, we have... Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get to squeeze in the mixed doubles because we, we have um, the first ever King of the Palace hey! BCT tag team, mixed tag team. Hey! Yeah, that's coming in February. That will be February. That should be a spectacular turnout. Can you explain to the people exactly what this is? The main BCT? Yeah. The bullet is a two, choice tournament. Yeah, it's a 220 scratch. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Event. Oh, nice I, I, ball. No, I believe it's handicapped, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's 220 cap. 220 cap. Cap, cap 220 yeah. straight up. Yeah. With no, with no I handicap. I thought you said scratch. I'm no, sorry. yeah, it is scratch. There's no handicap at 220. Everybody has to have a 220 average. You, you can't go above 220 average. Nope. No. 220 cap. Right, you can't go above 220. That's what I mean. That's a cap. Oh, nice spare shot. No, you have to have 220. Oh, Minimum, average. yeah. No, just 220. Every team has to have 220. So after eight, Ivan Geschwinder at 65 working on a spare. Anthony Karen at 82. Final two boxes for Anthony Karen here in box number nine, the foundation box. String number one. Found oh, the right head pin. Oh, there it is. Anthony wrecks a rack. Oh, nice ball. Oh, Anthony, you can clear that wooden. Yeah. Good eyeball here, Anthony. Oh, there But uh, the BCTs is a great tournament put on by Will Damon, Wade, Wade DePalmer, and all them. All the guys from Maine to do a great job of it. They have a lot of bowls so far. It's a lot of fun. Ooh. Oh. 
Oh, look at this, Dennis. Wide right on the strike fill. Right, so he leaves the right. one, and he leaves the one and the two. That's all right. For a more, two pinner. For more information on the BCTs, you can visit their Facebook page at Bullish Toys Tournament or just uh, message Wade De Palma or Will Damon. Yep. Okay. Should be a spectacular turnout. Very difficult spit, oh, though. Wow, he knew it, too. Not as easy as it looks, people. Maybe only two pins there, but... Yeah, he let it go too early. Tanya, I love having a live audience. It's spectacular. You never know what's going to happen. Hey, do you remember that TV show, um, uh, uh, Dollar Bill? No. You don't remember that TV show? The old TV show used to be like on WNDS or something like that? This is the place to shop, folks. Wake up your brother, wake up your sister, wake up your mother, wake up your cousin, and get in front of the TV. Call Mary, call John, call the people in Gloucester, call everybody, call Lynn, call crazy people, call everybody, and get in front of the TV, because we are going to blow you away. This is unbelievable. What's WNBS? It used to, it used to, there used to be a guy that had like a dollar bills all on, on like on a hat or something like that. I think he just came in the building. <laughs> so Remember, he, he fell for Ivan. He's left what the uh, four seven, four ten. Excuse me. Four ten. Yeah. Well, a lot of good favorable wood. He should be able where's, to make Where's this. he going? Quick. He's studying it. Yeah, so I'd probably go like right at the pin, like if the dead wood wasn't there, and should sweep it over. Either that, if he's feeling a little scared, go far left and try to spin it in. Uh, he's studying this, Dennis. Better than Candle Pin Ball, the way. And no. Oh, he needs oh, it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a nope. Then oh, ball's that ball's just well. hanging. Well, now the ball will have to be removed off the pin plate. The pin plate, people, is that black square between the, the alley gutters or channels. And it's off. Okay. That ball supposed to be I apologize for that. No. I, thought we had, I, oh. I, I, I thought we had our very first Canlipin streaker, but it no, was just my right. If it's in the gutter, it does not have to be removed. Mm. It's 10 bucks. I stand corrected. I thought it had to be. Okay. Okay. Essentially, you want it removed when it's tried in the way because you don't want to smash a ball and it oh, just yeah. split. Champ ball. definitely has to do something here. Yeah, he's, he's down Ooh. 17 box to box. Uh, that one got away from him. I think he needs a slow as approach now. I think he's rushing a little bit. Uh, that plus he's, right now he's got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. Needs the head pin. Oh! He oh. Right, looked Seven good going down. Just That's two in a row. I thought he had. It's probably just a fraction too full. The other spare shot I thought he had too. No, he's shooting the railroad split. Oh, no good. Oh, no. Eight box. After one. Ivan Geshwinder, the current reigning king, is 91. Anthony Karen at 110. 19 pin lead for Anthony Karen. Okay. Well, we'll see if the champ can come back. Yeah, he needs to do something. It's basically a scratch match. It's only one pin handicap for Anthony Karen. But like I said, Anthony's deadly when that reverse curve goes right into that pocket. Okay. Opening up, Ivan the champ. Chris Ball delivered, found the head Ooh. pin. Yeah, that's better. Nice ball, ball. ball. Yeah, it's a little more concentration. Left the six pin. Nice piece of wood right in front of it. Now, Dennis, quickly, is this bond wood if there's two pieces of wood? Or is I, it just bond wood if it's just one piece? I have no idea what never bond had, wood means. No, oh, no, one we, piece of wood. Never heard that term. Spare. Spare for Ivan. Oh, yeah, that's that's... That's been around. But I can't remember if it's more than one piece. But dad, I couldn't answer. Ivan wants to give a quick shout out to his mom and dad in Rihanna. Question for another day. Okay, he wants to fill this spare. Oh, no. Wow, off to the left. Off. Yeah, like I said, I think he's rushing it, so he's not really yeah. controlling it that well. Yeah. Just fill the spare throw. with a four, yeah. Big shout out to everyone who showed up today Mike and Eric Kane, Aaron Spella, Richie Myrick, Skeeter Burst, them boys. <laughs> Oh boy. So the Tulios, the Squirrel, aka Ghost Rider. Yep. Skeeter. Oh and we filled the box with six. a six. Yeah. Tough start there with a spare. Okay, Anthony Karen up. Lane number three, box number one, string number two, 19 pin lead. Okay, want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. Visit North End, buynorthend.com, or visit uh, our excellent sales staff. 
for a new or pre-owned Mazda. Also, um, Watch Me Suck at Bowling. You can find them on YouTube. Does a parody on himself doing candle pin, 10 pin, and duck pin. Also, the Bait Shack at 832 Wachusett Street, Lumster, Mass. And Senior Solutions, 978-353-9269. As for Ralph Pearsons, he's working hard doing odd jobs for the, for the elderly. Okay, nine bucks. Okay, up on lane number four. There you go. Ready? <coughs> Found the head pin, leaves to three and the six. Wood. Just so you know, what's going on, everybody? Just so you know, we are live on Facebook. So when the, I noticed that the last time I did on the show, I didn't um, express what, who I was talking to. I thought I was like talking to myself. <laughs> You so. do that all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes you have to, you know? <laughs> it all depends, too, so sometimes I'm answering myself as well. But we are in our second match. Hey, Cass, how you doing, baby? Love you. It's 10 bucks. What's up, Ray? After hey, Mike Kane, nice seeing you again. What's going on, Brad, Sarah? I can't tell you who's bowling, so that we're just sitting there and we're we're talking and um, as they're bowling. So seven ten left. Wood all over the place. Dennis, I'm going wide left. I'm banging the yeah, I, no, red I, line. I go to the right. I'd actually go to the right. Would you? Yep. Yeah, well. Right tip. This is a lot of this. fun. I love doing this way. <laughs> Three. He had two pieces of wood. What's up, in front Brian? Of seven What's up, Wally? Pin. And neither one hits the seven people. I watch. Can't open bowl them. Is Dennis? And now he hits the wood again. He does. I'm sorry, yep. guys. And there's Steve in the in the background. You never know what's going to happen when we're doing stuff live. Well, he just threw two balls, hit two pieces of wood, never got the seven pin, then hit a piece of wood in front of the ten pin, never got the ten pin. How does that happen? Tell me, people. I'm I'm what's all up, ears. Cheech? Now you see what we go through every week. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Phil. Phil knows. Phil's watching. Oh yeah. Uh, I have no explanation. Nice to see Spiller tuning in. Can I play the wood? No, it's going after the screen. Oh, don't, wow. don't hurt him. I was thinking about playing that wood on the front, Dennis. He needed to, he needed to make that. because I'm going to do something nobody ever has done. What's that? On live TV, you on YouTube pick, Live. You pick your nose or something? Oh, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Watch this. Nobody's ever, ever, ever done this. On a Ken Levin TV show. Stick your tongue up. You're actually watching live action of the show as it's going on. Right now. The ball will be delivered. Contact with the head pin. Oh, oh could be, could on. be. Fall down. Well, that would have been great showing that live strike, huh? <laughs> no. Absolutely. Getting the spirits. Here's the crowd. This, this, this is important. Keep it clean. My kid's watching the show. Gonna nail this pin. Does Eric Kane want to have them boys? If you ever, if you guys ever wanted to know when we're talking about the squirrel, here's the sighting. Green shirt. Squirrel. There's the squirrel. If everybody ever wanted to see the squirrel, that's the squirrel. I'm hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, you're looking at me as I'm looking at you. Is, is Facebook going to die now because of that? Is there some, like, time warp thing going to happen? Looks like there's a time delay on mics. Hey, Noah. Two pin spear leave. The one Rudy's the in the house. How you guys doing? Nice seeing you all. Thank Anthony you for tuning in. He's a 1-3. Since you already showed who's bowling, we can actually call his name now. <laughs> Makes it a little less tragic for us. Yeah, Masons. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> my nephew's name is Mason. Oh, <laughs> nice shot, Anthony. Ah, I miss having you at the alleys, too. What do we got, Dennis? You got to come home soon. Mom misses you. After four, Anthony. What's up, Mike? What's going on, bud? Working on the spare. The other guy at 37. There's Dave Godwin. Godwin. The scratch champ. Um, yep. A couple months. Defend that title, brother. Oh, got a favorable break. He's left the one, three, six, and the nine. Hey, Nico, how you doing, bud? 
I gotta figure a way how to how to make this so it's not like reversed. Uh, I, I I haven't done it. Ooh. Is there a button or something? Right there, isn't it? No. Is that button up top? It got no, four it, pins it, it up changes people. it around. You hit the head pin and chop one out. How does that happen? I have no oh. idea. Oh. Any corners from Steve? A <laughs> couple times, Rudy. A couple times. Alrighty. Hey, I got to get back to the show. Um, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye bye. Okay. Ivan, first Ivan. ball throw. Yeah, he needs to run this down because he's down yeah. 20 pins box to box. Oh, just kissed it and it slid in between the two. That oh, so here's dirty. another example, Dennis. That, that sounded so wrong. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> Went off the side wall and fell between the two pins. It's ten box. The Queens lead wins. Yeah, Anthony can really put the screws yeah. to him right now. Yeah. Very yeah, system. The champ is struggling. Throw, yeah. He's up 20 and he's on working on a spare right now. He said Anthony is no stranger to the king of the pals, oh, no. being a former champ. Yep. We will have our tiebreaker. Oh, yes, we shall. <laughs> Fills a spear Ooh. with. Wow, he went, he went, he 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 went way, way, way right on that one. Got a good break. Yeah, with eight. I, I have no explanation, people. He hits the three pin into the six and drops eight. And he's got a favorable spare leave. He's got to go to the left of the head pin, I think, Dennis, right? I want to go to the right. I'd go to the I'd, left. I'd go to the left. Oh, he went right. And he missed missed. It. He just missed. Okay. You want to grab at least one of these. He's up against a seven box, so everything is great gravy right now. Yeah. Tap. Oh, no, no. Ooh. Can you do that? It's still a gainer, though. Yeah. It's unusual, Dennis, as I watch. As soon as he released that ball, he knew he missed. Yeah. yeah it's a Anthony's call. leaving the door open for the champ. Oh, yeah. Not really. He's up 30, Anthony, right now. He's up against a ten box. If he throws a mark here. Oh, Ooh. look at this. The Mongo goes. Yeah, but you wanted that to stay. You might want the that nine, to stay ten. Up. Yeah, that's the one of the instances. That, you know what? That's yeah, actually yeah. not all that bad because I'd shoot that deadwood. Yeah. Yeah, but where are you going to, with it? I would aim as low as I could. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Below but the you know what? Uh, probably a ball would fit between that ball, the, the deadwood and the ten pin. But he's got that curve. Yeah. Wow. yeah I was afraid he was going to cap it. One of the rare instances when that six pin fell, you wanted it to stay yeah. up. Yeah. That's yeah. the one thing where his curve wouldn't have worked. Right. He would have to have thrown it straight. Yep. Dead on. I don't think he can. I don't think I he don't can throw that, that much of a straight ball. Want to give a shout out to our OEPD who who mm. makes us look and sound awesome. There's only one Travis Flock. There he is down there filming. He's the best. Rap There's the, only one. At the six, I have a guest window at 54. Anthony Karen at 65. Champ is down 30 pins going into the last four boxes. All he's got to do is throw a mark to start it. He needs to throw some bombs right now. Found the head pin. Okay. Oh, it's way to start. Oh, short okay. pin. To oh, the, the deadwood stopped that other piece of deadwood from taking it out. He's got a nice little triangle down there huddled, huddled around. David, quickly, what do you mean by short pin? Gets a spear. Short pin. Oh, you, never heard of the, you never heard of the saying of a short pin? Not when it just happened, him leaving the, the four pin. When the pin, oh. roll, when the pin rolls by and it just barely Oh, okay, misses. thank you, yeah. Right. To be honest with you, David, did not know. Oh, look at this. Now he buries it and leaves the 710. Good the This spirit. might be kind of, the, ooh, this is kind of ugly right now. If that piece of wood was angled just a little bit differently. Still got to play, uh, that, uh, yeah, the play the front a 10 pin. Yeah. Play the 10 pin, hopefully you slides still up over. Play it. No. Oh, I throw it right down the middle and miss everything. Yeah. That's not an option. Not a good option, but it's an option. Yep. Now he'd probably want to play the seven just to grab the pin. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Want to give a quick shout out to all the other TV shows out there. There's, uh, let's see, New England Candle Pins, the the Kid Show, Next uh, Generation, New Gen, New Gen, Next Gen is Star Trek. Good show, by the way. Yes, my favorite um, of all. Of them. And classic Candle Pins. Absolutely, Mark Ritchie. Yep. A good friend up there at Riverwalk. Is it Riverwalk Lanes? Yes, yes. Riverwalk. Yes, Amesbury, yeah. Oh, Nancy, a little wide right. All of us believe in the passion of what we're doing to keep oh. this sport alive. There's nothing like it, people. We've always said it, and I'll say it again time and time. There's also a show up in Maine. Yep. Uh, I, not, I don't remember the name or oh. who runs it, but there is a show coming, and there's also probably another show coming out that they're working on now. Uh, Jay Gothia Sr. is trying to put something together. It's like a skins-oriented match. Yep. I also want to give a shout-out to... Um, Frank over at Alley Chat. Yes, Frank Face. Frank and Kyle, they're doing a spectacular job on that. I tune in and listen. 
Absolutely. You watch all the shows that they put up. Yeah. Which I did for the month oh, I was on home. <laughs> it helped a lot. Okay, what's it look like Anthony now, Anthony with a nine box. Uh, Anthony's still up 21 pins. Box okay. to box. And he's opposite of Nate. He's opposite of Nate right now. Yeah, if he gets a spare hit or a strike, or any type of moderate good fill, he's really in the driver's yep. seat. That's what happens. Oh, he's found the head pin. Oh, look at this. And he's left one of the six Mongols. Yep. The three, the five, the six. Now, Dennis, David, you go to the left side of the it's, pit or the right? It's a tough uh, Individual preference. It's, right. a, it's tough. Sometimes you I'm have going to. I'm to the right. Sometimes, you know, if you hit it straight on, it punches through. Sometimes oh, yeah. you hit it head on, it takes them both. Yep. Another thing I can never understand. Hit the three pin, it goes right between them. No. Angle of deflection. Or do that. No, he's he's jumping again an eight, so he wants to get at least one to tie. He doesn't want to lose any yeah. pins. Forcing the champ to throw a couple of marks right now. Yeah, and he knew it. Missed them all. He knew he had a chance to right. really put the screws down. Two to go. What's the story? After eight, Ivan Geshwinder at 80, Anthony Karen at 81. 20 pin lead for Anthony Karen. So the champ needs to throw a couple of marks right now. Yep. I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Ludeberg Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person. Visit Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff. For a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru, also watch me suck at bowling. You can find them on YouTube. There's a parody on candle pin, duck pin, and whatever that, pin. Other, whatever that other game is. Also, the Bait Shack, loaded at, located at 832 Wachusett Street. No matter what time of year, he has everything that you will ever need. Um, nice 10 box. Also, Boy, Senior man. Solutions, please call 978-353-9269. In the Lemonster, Fitchburg, Lunenburg, Westminster, Gardner area, he'd be happy to help you out. Solving every, any kind of problem, odd jobs for the elderly. Does a great job. Also want to say thank you to all the viewers out in YouTube land. <coughs> Excuse me, local access and Facebook. Oh, all, no, all your no, comments, whether they... Yeah, it's just not there. This all your comments, whether they be good or bad, we all comment. Dennis is usually on YouTube commenting. I'm on Facebook commenting. Steve oh. is, well, carrier pigeon. Or Correct. by the Pony Express, whichever one Steve Wells chooses. Wells Fargo. Whatever. Oh, that's bad. Bad choice, Wells Fargo. Bad well, as of right, yeah, as of right now, pick Anthony Karen has already won the match by one pin. I also want to thank everybody that came out. Uh, we had 27 bowlers and one lady. So thank you for believing what in what we do. We cannot do without you. And Anthony's thrown. At least my favorite shot, the diamond. Anthony diamond. Anthony didn't throw a spectacular string, but neither did, the, neither did the champ. Yeah. And it was enough to uh, dethrone the champ. Dennis quickly, what, what, what's the spear league also called? That the dinner bucket. That's the ten pin term. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Ten pin. I think, you, I think you always say that, and Dennis always corrects you. Yeah, yeah well, I just. You know, candle, candle pin, it's a dime. It's a diamond. Okay. And a nine box. Which one nine? More, yeah, it's been one more box to go. Yeah, he already won the match. Attack, 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 attack. Yeah, attack, attack, attack. Yeah. Yep. So Ivan threw a 99 second string, 91 first string for a two string total of 190. So who are we going to see next week, David? Next Maybe week, more? Anthony Karen will be taking on a newcomer. Tyler Dunn should be a should be a great match. I was bowling next to um, Tyler, in the qualifier very well. He he the first two strings he didn't bowl that great like yep. 106 105, but then he had a monstrous third string like a 150 or something like that. It must have been that handicap that he was getting. Well, that was before the handicap. With the handicap he threw like a 162, so that put him right in there. So it's just let you know you never you never. Ooh, out. look at that! Look at this. <laughs> Anthony uh, just stopped and stared. Yeah, he's puts his hands up in the air. He's like he's smiling. What? He hits three pieces of wood, people. Not one pin went down. Yep, the ten pin just wiggled. Candle pin bowling. I have no idea why, people. How that happened. There we go. Anthony Karen will be moving on yep. next week Thank to face you. the number two seed in Tyler Dunn. So Anthony Karen throws a 99 string for a two string total of 209. So he won this match by 19 pins. Spears and strikes? Not a lot. Uh, Ivan had three spears, no strikes. Anthony Karen had three spears and one strike. That's why it's always important. Every pin counts. Absolutely. Thank you again for watching King of the Palace. Now, let's get to the 11th box with the Nuz.
Welcome to the 11th box. I'm standing here with this week's winner, dethroning the, the king, which I know something about with Anthony Karen. Uh, great ball on Anthony. Uh, 110, 99. Not high scores, but enough to win. What are your thoughts? I was very fortunate to win. He didn't bring his best bowling, but I know he's a better bowler, and he'll have better days. Yeah, it looked like he um, he was rushing a little. Uh, he was a little off his mark, and he just that, you know he took advantage of. It. That's what you do. You got to jump on it. Right. Everybody has bad days. It just happens. Just move on and try and do better next time. Exactly. So now we have no king. The title belts up for grabs. What do you think about uh, wearing this again? Well, I've had it once. I'd love to get it again. Yes, I do. I remember you had it once. I, who's that you beat? Um, oh yeah, it was me. <laughs> no, yeah, you do, you're a great bowler, Anthony. I, I always say it, when you're reverse curves in that pocket, you're deadly. Well, congratulations. Uh, next week you face a newcomer, the number two seed with a roll-off score, 390, Tyler Dunn. See everyone then. Let's let them check out the tubes. Come on, it's huge. Oh, technicals. Oh, I like these little mouth. Oh dear. How are we getting up there? I don't know. We're going up, boys. Oh, deep snow. Huge. We're going up. We're going way up. Going down the tubes. Look out, guys. Ah! Ah! Oh! Brutal, brutal. You gotta love the tubes.